We'll see if this ball goes outside to Dennison right here. They, they tried to, but Kai Hui stole it away. Here's Dennison hitting cross court. Whitney Phillips hitting it off the block. Point, Portland State. Whitney Phillips, what a, what a year she's had. All tournament, almost every tournament they played. All Big Sky Most Valuable Player. Number six in the NCAA in points. Nice pass by Danielson. Now she's starting to warm up. That one just buried in about the 12 foot line. And great recognition by Dynamo Foto to realize that the middle blocker for Portland State went with Emily Hartung and set the ball outside of Danielson, who had a one on one opportunity. And anytime Danielson gets one on one, it's almost guaranteed kill. There's a bad pass. Probably with a chance now. Hit the down ball. Mafool, nice set out to Danielson, who hits a deep corner. Phillips, oh, she hits high and hard right over Mafua and Paul Hewitt. Well, just seeing uh, Phillips hit, it just gives me flashbacks of her run at New Mexico State. Uh, a few years back, played for head coach Mike Jordan and really gave Hawaii fits when she was there. And having a great night thus far for Portland State. She's giving Hawaii fits again. And here is Hewitt with a great step out move. Nice timing from Mafua, a mid-pack all-star. See the numbers on Hewitt, 2.35 kills per game and hitting, seeing that hitting percentage at 371. Right down by one, Mafua, jump float, nice pass up by the opponent, Piando. Again, Hawaii's fourth block keeps them in this match. Tied at 12-all, but it's been the block that's getting the job done tonight. Well, great job by Kanani Danielson to help out in the middle that time along with Brittany Hewitt. This is Hawaii's, one of Hawaii's best scoring rotations with Hewitt, Satelli, and Danielson in front row. They want to be able to score some points right now. Nice tip shot from Aubrey Mitchell. Just a freshman out of Reno, Nevada. She's the one who had kill for match point when they uh, won the Big Sky Conference against Northern Colorado. Danielson hitting from the right, dug up. Danielson gets a kill, but it was really more of a non-reaction time by Portland State because that ball had plenty of chance to be played by someone. Five people watched it. So Danielson with the serve. Hawaii at 13 all. Good back set. Mitchell, the lefty, hits it wide, trying to avoid that big block. So if I was hitting against Hewitt, I'd try to avoid her too. So Danielson again with a great jump serve. Hits it deep this time. There's the ball, it's hit long again. Portland State after hitting block four times or almost hitting avoidance balls right now. We're gonna take a break with Hawaii up 15-13 against Portland State. This is a good one. Can we see the score 15-13 Hawaii in the first set. This Jack Fact is sponsored by Jack in the Box where you can get anything on the menu any time of day. Portland State Vikings uh, enrollment 29,000 located obviously in Portland, Oregon. Founded in 1946. And they play in the Peter W. Stott Center, 1500 capacity. And I'm telling you, they're gonna have to build a new center if, if they keep winning like they have. But Michael Siemens really got that program on a roll. They won nine straight coming into this tournament. Good two point pass there. Good dig by Satelli. And good dig by uh, Mafua Satelli. Couldn't turn off the net more quickly enough. Well, Rosenthal doing a nice job of hitting that ball down the line. Rosenthal came up big against in a match earlier this year for Portland State against Oregon, getting the start on the outside hitting position, hitting the ball again down the line off of Mafua. And Waver again able to find the floor, just wriggling it through that block. Michelle Waver does a better job hitting offensively when that ball is tempoed up like that. If Danny McMuffle can keep that ball in tempo, Waver will have a great night. Trent Portland State getting a pretty good pass, but a good block up front by Waver and Hartog. A freshman. 
Schrader coming up to get the, the dig. Hewitt with the dig, but overpassed. Satelli with the dig. Here's Hardtog. Good dig by Diapando. And here's Phillips out of the back row. Danielson with the set to Satelli. Satelli hits it off the block, and she will get the dig. The ball will not go over on three. And Hawaii gets a hard-earned point against a scrappy Portland State Viking team. Well, scrappy is a great word to describe that Portland State defense right now. They're touching a lot of balls, making Hawaii hitters have to, having to work for almost everything. You with that tough line drive serve. Step out, maneuver. That time by Zelke. She's one of the all tournament last week in the Big Sky tournament. All Big Sky, second team player. 71st in kill percentage in the country at 340. Danison, oh, what a good pass by Danison, sprawling out in the floor. Weber trying to hit down the line, but just took too much of the line. Commits an error, and the Vikings are right back in this. Well, Weber had the line shot that time, over rotated a little bit too much, hitting that ball far left. Danison with a, an overpass there. Unlike her, in my opinion, to make many passing areas. She's passed at the highest level, the highest international level when she played for the junior national and youth national teams. And here's Satella hitting high and hard off the hands of Zilke. Well, great high hit by Satella, picking up her fourth kill, hitting 222 thus far. As we see Mita Uyato coming in to play some defense for Satella, but uh, look for Mafua to look to Satella a little bit more if Danielson continues to struggle. Uyato with a jump float. It's just going to be an overpass. No, good dig by Kai Hue. Weber with a good swing. Dump shot put down by Schlatter, and Kai Hue was there, just couldn't handle it. Well, that's a great dump by Schlatter, the 2010 Big Sky first team selection. Great dig off the play by the libero that time, and Schlatter just dumping the ball straight down. Right now, the tips and these plays like these, these dumps are what Hawaii is struggling with. Let's see if they can make some sort of adjustment on these tip plays. So the blocking has definitely improved. That was one of Dave Shoji's concerns. Hawaii's well, got four blocks right now. Their passing is getting, I think, better than it was last week uh, in Las Vegas. But the tip shots and small little plays are not going quite as well for Hawaii. Good coverage that time by Iwiato. Weber with a good swing. Again, a scrappy defense by Portland State. Phillips can't put it down. Waver with a swing. See if Phillips gets another one. No, it goes to the middle. And Danielson's back there to pick it up, play center field. Oh, nice step out maneuver, but a better block by Portland State. It's going to be a good enough block to force Dave Shoji to call a timeout. Welcome back. Hawaii down 18 and 19 against a scrappy Portland State team in set number one. Dave Shoji having to call that timeout. Not normal for Dave Shoji to call many timeouts. He likes to save those. Lane Danis is again struggling with her, her passing. But Mafua manages to put up a pretty good set and Weber saves her. Weber with kill number four. She's hitting 300 so far. Dave Shoji will take 300 out of her any night because she's a sub 200 hitter. Maeda with the jump float. Good pass up front. But a better block by Hawaii. Kanani Danielson and Hartong in on that one. Well, Kanani Danielson picking up maybe her third block of the night thus far as we see Portland State calling a timeout to see if they can slow down Hawaii's run right here. We're down to crunch time, 2019 Hawaii. We'll be back. All the information you need about UH Athletics is right at your fingertips. Go to uhathletics.com for UH News, tickets, videos, and a host of other items. Visit our Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube sites to follow your favorite teams and get current fan promotions. Boy, up 2019 after that Portland State timeout. Good jump float after the timeout by Maeda. Forces a bad pass. Phillips rips it cross court and down. That's why 
She won so many awards in the Big Sky this year, including MVP. Well, great wrist away shot by Phelps that time. Kanani Danielson thinking that ball may go out, but Phelps hitting that ball inside Hartong and to the sharp cross court, picking up her third kill of the night. Hayda with a bad pass. Free ball for Portland State. Phillips again. She scores once again. She is something else. She's got the, the heavy arm, doesn't she, Brian? It's, it's a live one. And that's one thing that head coach Seaman talked about earlier in the match to you and I, that sometimes he has to tone her down. She just loves to swing away as you see that service error giving Hawaii a much needed side out. The serve out by Schlatter, the 5'10 freshman from Canby, Oregon. She's playing the big time. One state away from her home state. Good pass by Phillips. She gets it right back. She hits it down the line, but out. Well, that time there, Kanani Danielson giving Phelps line. And Phelps now stacking over to the left side. So we'll see her actually take a swing now from the left side against Mafua and Hewitt. Who right, with a good serve. She goes right at Phillips. Hawaii's going to have a good chance here in transition. But good dig in the back by Portland State. Phillips this time just keeping the ball in play. Mafua chooses Hewitt. A good choice by Danny Mafua. Yeah, I agree with you on that one there, Chris. Hawaii's got to get their middles more involved, which means more sets to Hewitt and Hartung in order for Hawaii to keep their offense diversified. Portland State calls timeout there, their second and final timeout as we watch Hewitt take us to a break. Welcome back, Hawaii up 23-21. As we take a look at the, the 76 leaderboard sponsored by 76 Gas, provided in Hawaii by locally owned Mid-Pack Petroleum. As you can see here, Brittany Hewitt showing why she is the nation's leader at number one with blocks per set. Right now, Hewitt with four blocks already in this match, showing why she is one of the top blockers in the country, followed by uh, Hampton from Long Beach State University. And it's been a drought for Brittany in the last couple of weeks, so I'm sure she's happy to be black in that blocking column. Finally, Hawaii picks up one of those dump little tip shots, but they can't keep it alive. That's been their demise tonight, too many easy drop balls. Well, Phelps back to serve. It's 23-22, crunch, crunch time right now. I wouldn't be surprised if Mafua goes to Danielson right here. And make Danielson pass the ball. Here's sent Satelli out of the back row. Here's a chance for Hawaii with free ball. Here's Danielson to get the point. She delivers. Danielson comes up with point number 24, and Hawaii at set point. And right now, again, Hawaii in one of their best scoring rotations with Satelli. Uh, Hewitt and Danielson all in the front row. Great blocking and offensive lineup for Hawaii in the front line. Full of the jump floor, a little long though. Caught a, caught a little jet stream and just took off on her. So Dave Shoji stacking Kanani Danielson to the left side, which means that Kanani will be hitting from the left sideline and expect her to see this ball for, math, uh, for set point. Cut the serve. Diana Diapando. Maeda struggles a little bit. Here's Dennison with set point. This ball tight to the net. Great job by Satelli, recognizing that ball is coming over. Just tip that ball straight down. Hawaii able to hold on and take set number one with the score 25 to 23. 